Hello and welcome to this introduction about what I, myself and others do as Glyn Shepherd Media. Uh, we are cab professionals. We are actually a team of individual freelance cab professionals. So uh, imagine lots of small little organisations that come together when needed to help people like yourselves. So if we have a house, a project in Lincoln, and he can call me, say, need help, need help with this, are you free? All that kind of stuff. So it's a, a robust organisation, uh, a CAD conglomerate. Yes. Um, quick bit of history about me, um, because in this area I'm predominantly doing the work, and if it's further afield or there's expertise that I don't have, I call in one of the guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've been doing CAD for 25 years. Came out of college, loved it, did it at college, loved it and went, this is amazing. This is just phenomenal. Uh, so I've done all sorts of, I've CADded virtually everything apart from boats and planes. So if you've got a boat or a plane project, give me a call and I'm happy to, you know, throw some models together for that. I am a CAD person that decided to go alone some time ago so I could help people like yourselves with projects and all sorts of other people and just do some CAD. It's quite geeky. I like it. It's a passion. And you are here because you have a passion. You have a passion to turn your house into a bigger house or start a new house in an empty bit of land. We'll get onto that in a bit. But my passion and your passion together, wow, could be amazing. Um, what we can offer is we can come do surveys, we can do land surveys, so we can laser scan land, we can, we've can we got drones that we can bring in to do, you know, if you've got an existing building, you want it fully scanned or upside down everywhere, we can do all that, we can come in with lasers and rulers and measure them that way, we can do that for you. Uh, we can, basically we take your ideas and we help you nurture your ideas and we put them into images. And from those images, you can sort of say, well, no, let's want a bit more there, want a bit more there, let's, let's move it around. And that's what we're here to do, really. Um, as far as I can see, what we do is unique. There are other people out there, other companies that will, you know, like architects will do their clever stuff. I can't find another company that will sit down with you and say, right, what do you want to do? And from those, what we call fag packs, packet sketches, we come up with plans and elevations and a model and then if you want you want some renders that we can do that we can do a fly through animation we we'll go to that in a bit so what we do it's a bit of a dark art when people say to me what do you do i go cad they go huh so we say drawings drawings and in the olden days it was cardboard models uh bits of clay lego models i've seen people make house models out of lego all sorts of things so it starts with the old drawing boards. I, when I started 25 years ago, drawing boards were just being phased out. So, you know, I have a love for the drawing. Uh, now it's a bit more technical than that. Um, it's computer aided design. And we've, we've broken that down. We all got together our little cauldron, our conglomerate of CAD people and said, right, what do we do? So uh, it was Martin who said, computer aided design. So why don't we sell that? So what we do, is we basically sit down with you and say, right, here's our equipment, here's our visual, visualization tools. How can that be used to help you get what you want? You wanna get from point A to point B? We wanna help you. We like your uh, Tom Tom sat now from how to get to your final destination, your dream house. Uh, and that, that, that's, we don't need you. We will sit there with you and you know, you say you want a room five meters by five meters, you want a fireplace in the corner, da -da 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 -da. computer magic, you have that. Then we do the kitchen, we do the living room, we do upstairs, or we can take your existing house and build around that. The, <coughs> sorry, the way I got into this uh, is that I realized that a lot of people have the interest that you have, they know what they want, but they don't know what they want. That's not a put down. That is just simply, you, you're here watching this because you want to change your house or get a new house. Brilliant. Lots of people do it. And you're in the right place to do it. You look around you, there's lots of lots of stands and stalls and people. Brilliant. 
but quite a lot of people don't know what they want in that want so you know oh, i want a three-bed house i want a this one a garage i want this so we sort of say okay how about this you know you want this version of this you want this version of that we've got a bit of experience of helping people so we can pull pull from that previous experience and say we did a project with this what do you think and you can go ah yeah but we'll move that out move that move that it's all possible imagine we've got a big lump of clay and we're going to mold it into what you want except it's all on a computer it's not real clay no 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 get a bit messy stuck in the keys not too good another important thing about cad is that it will give us the ability to see what doesn't exist it's like looking into the future it's like having a tardis or <coughs> the delorean how you want to look at it and we can show you what isn't but what can be so there you go that is what we do We'll sit there with our computer and our screens and whatnot <coughs> with the client or client and say, well, what do you want? And they'll say, and we'll mold it together and we'll say, well, you know, if you put cold or there, you can put this room there, you can put that room there. So yeah, again, as I said before, pulling from our experience. Um, there are several approaches that we can use. We st one approach is the blank sheet of paper approach. Literally, imagine you sit there with a blank sheet of paper and you're like, okay, free reign, what do you want? We'll sketch it out we do that on a computer makes it a bit easier blank sheet of paper because there's no limitations there's no there's nothing on there to start with so you can draw your box for your existing house and put a bit on the back for your extension or you know whatever you want to do start a blank sheet of paper it's a starting point it's very daunting it is very daunting um but it's the start of a journey you are now at the start of a journey and we're going to let a tour guide and hopefully get you to your end of journey. But that starts with that piece of paper, that one design. Could be a napkin in the pub. Yeah. Uh, nothing we can do, <coughs> excuse me, is we can come along and survey your house and measure your house, your existing property. Um, and then we can start with that. And you can say, right, the living room, yes, I like the living room, but I want it to be a bit bigger. So we now know the scale of how big your living room is. You want a bit bigger? We can make it a bit bigger. It's like taking that bit of clay and just pulling the walls out and all that kind of clever stuff. Um, and the good thing that you get an idea of scale. Uh, you can change, take what you've got, because you love the house you've got. If you don't love your house you've got, forget this. <laughs> Some people don't. Um, so we can take that, measure that house, and then build the new house around it. So you've got an idea of scale. We can also, this gets a bit tricky sometimes, um, measure your furniture. We can CAD your furniture and put your existing furniture into your new house. Because how, what a nightmare, getting you building a new house, oh, sofa won't fit in. We had that. We had an incident with palm trees, asking me about the palm trees, wouldn't fit in. But we can do all that to help you, all these little things, to help you get into your final destination. Um, if you have, if you've seen a stall here that sells the bathrooms or <coughs> any other kind of furniture, we can get those models, those dimensions, we can model them for you and put them in. Say, right, your bathroom, yeah, this size would look, your bath could go there or your shower tray or shower room or whatever. The rule of thumb we've learned is plan for what you need, what you want, then add 20%. Because you'll quite often, I've, I've had a client some time ago, I forgot, middle of last year, this is the size I want, uh, and it turned out I have to come back sometime later and go, it's not big enough. We worked it out. We we this guy actually had a, he owned a factory, so what he did is he drew out on the floor the dimensions we'd come up with, and he's like, no, I need to be bigger. So yeah, rule of thumb: what you need, what you want, and add twenty percent, and you'll be fine. Right, some projects that we have been involved in. Um, <coughs> first one, this is the, this is the one that's close to my heart, this really is. Uh, Apple Tree Cottage. A client bought a farmhouse with a view, no other houses around, lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, but it was, because it was uh, 60, 70 years old, it's that not, you know, had a lot of potential. Yeah, had a lot of potential, but um, hasn't quite achieved that potential. So what we did, is we were called in we measured the place and 
was it a feasibility idea of how to open the plan up downstairs Up, upstairs was fine downstairs needed to change so we said this is what it could look like if you you know took this wall out did this beam on there all that kind of stuff we also designed a conservatory to go on the back because it's a lovely way to bring the outside in all that kind of clever stuff so we And then at the end of the project, it's like, yeah, we'd finalized the design, going, yes, yes, oh, that conservative is brilliant, open plan idea, excellent. So they could take their way to architects and builders and all that kind of stuff. Um, came out and said, oh, can you show us what the outside would like if it's slightly different? Oh, what do you mean? Well, you know, different renders on the building or different window frames. So we did, we showed him what his house would look like it didn't finish right the next project this is quite a biggie we didn't survey this one Leonard house the client we had an architect come to us and say look our client wants to see what his house looked like with a tower on the side you know every day kind of thing I'm gonna build a tower <coughs> so we took their existing survey information their measured uh, information and the design for the tower and showed them what the tower would look like so we did an animation Showing the existing, we had a camera could pan around, just showing the area of the house. And then we had the, pan, the camera come back around again with the ghost image of the tower, the proposed tower in the existing conservatory, because the conservatory was going to come out to fit this tower in. And then we had another animation showing the conservatory gone, how would the proposal look like? And he loved it. It also gives us a chance to sort of show we had a like, high camera, so you get to see your house from above, which not many people can say they do. Right, quick one about the next project we did. The Reed family uh, came to me, a friend of a friend kind of thing, um, said, we want a conservatory outside. Got the child in the way, house needs to be bigger, but we don't know what we want. So I went along, measured it, measured the house, did some research, and I gave them four or five options of what kind of conservatories. That's a starting point for where they can move off from. Because they're just like, as I said before, sometimes you know what you want, but you don't know what you want. So I gave them four options of different kinds of conservatories. Last project I'm going to talk about now briefly <coughs> is Trevina House. Uh, it's a new build, a client had an existing house and wanted a two bed house on the rear, so we tight the space because he couldn't change the boundary uh, to fit his family, kids, kids with like his wife's daughter, I think his daughter and husband were moving back to the area, uh, house prices, all that kind of stuff. So he said, I want a house on the back, can you do it? So we did it and we fitted it in. Right, now ah, this is the fun part. The icing on the cake of what we do is we can take your plans and we can take your, the model we create of your potential property and you go, oh, that's nice. Hopefully, and usually people do. But we can now also let you experience it and walk around it before it's been built with the joys of technology, with virtual reality. So we can build your 3D property house and you can now <coughs> Put on the visors and the hand controls and walk around the house. You can fly around the house, you can walk through walls, you can go upstairs, and you can also we can also change the layout as you're in. So if you're in the in the living room and you're looking around, you can say, no, well, that's a little bit bigger. So we can move the walls in real time in the model. So it really is an immersive experience built to wander around 
Well, what we have done on a project is we've had, remember I said about the existing house inside the new house? So we coloured the existing house so the person could walk through and see where walls were in relation to where they are and just wander through. And then we can hide the existing house and there's the new house. You can look outside, you can fly up, you can levitate. We've got this hand control, you sort of levitate like Iron Man. Levitate over to the roof, look down and see it how it is. Stand in the garden, stand in the front drive, stand in the hallway, the cupboard and the stairs. It's all around you. You can like this. It really is a great tool to get an understanding of what you have, what is there. So why should you choose our services to, to help to get us to help you? Um, simple, you're about to make one of the biggest investments you can make. So you need to make sure that you get what you want at the end of the day. Uh, I had a friend, the, the reason I got into helping people with this, <coughs> excuse me, is I had a friend years ago who had a plot of land, left from his father, I think it was, and he got an architect in to design a house. And he came to me and he's, we were down the pub one day. I said, how's the, how's the project going? He said, the architect's leading now, I'm just not getting any say in what's what. The architect's saying, oh yeah, we can do this, we can do that, and sort of taking the board and running with it. And I thought, hang on a minute, that's not very fair. If you're going to live in that house for many years, you should be the first one, the person that says, I want to be a little of this. And then take your 50% formed ideas, or so 90% formed ideas, to an architect and a builder and say, this is what I want, build it for me. Now, they are, I need to say here, the architects will do their clever engineering stuff. We're just here to help you form ideas. We will take some knowledge of what we have of past properties and all sorts of things and help you come up with your schemes, we'll help mold it. And then the architect will do the, the clever stuff on top. But we're here to make sure that the architect starts with a, instead of starting from base point, you know, you, you've got a fair idea of what you want, what you need. And we have the professional tools to help you get that, to get to what you want. And our tools are your tools, but you know, Get us to come along, sit there in a session, and we, you can say, draw the building, we can make the building there and then, tweak it, and then the virtual reality, all that kind of stuff. Brilliant. And we can give you design options. A lot of people will say, there's your design, we're going to build it for you. But we will say, right, let's have three or four options. Let's do whatever you want to get you to that point. Which is, you know, few and far between. So before I think what we do is unique in that we're very client led. So right, thank you very much for watching this. Hope you understand that we are here to help you. I should stop using my hands. Ah, no, it doesn't work either. Um, hope you, hopefully you will understand that we're here to help you get to that end goal of your change property or your new property uh, and give you every option and ava te technology available to be able to get to that point and get to your dream home. That's what it is, your dream home. My passion, your passion, equals dream home. I should be a maths teacher. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, hear from you soon.